Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a uh, quick review today of the uh, Google Nexus 1 versus the uh, Apple iPhone 3GS. As you can see, uh, size-wise, they're, uh, they're both about the same size with a case. Um, yeah, they're almost equal. Um, screen size, the, the Nexus 1 is actually a 3.7 and the uh, iPhone is a 3.5 so it's it's very minimal um, let's go ahead and turn both these guys on so we're gonna slide the iPhone and we're going to slide the Nexus one to turn it on oops I didn't slide it in time where's it? there it is okay uh, as you can see um, let's turn out the, no, this one's better uh, both screens are pretty sharp the uh, Nexus One has a higher resolution. Um, you know, when you move left and right, Nexus One is very smooth. Uh, it's got the moving uh, wallpaper, so that's a pretty cool feature. The uh, Apple iPhone, you know, you move screen to screen, it's very smooth as well. Uh, it doesn't have any backgrounds or any moving uh, moving wallpapers, but that's one feature that uh, Apple won't include because they want all iPhones to look how they want it to look so I guess that's one downfall um, let's see let's see you see all the apps for the iPhone here whereas the uh, Nexus one you have to click the uh, little app drawer and here's all your apps so you have to you know you have to scroll through up and down uh, with the iPhone you just scroll left and right that's it um, so you get your apps you install they, they show up here um, you know, speed-wise, the Nexus One is faster. It has a uh, one gigahertz processor. The iPhone only has a 600 megahertz, uh, which is fine for the iPhone because it doesn't multitask yet. Uh, even when they do get the um, 4.0 update, they will not have true multitasking. What it will do is pause the other app and uh, keep it in the background. And when you want to use it, uh, it can uh, use it again. Whereas the Nexus One, if you hold on the home button shows you all the apps that are running in the background see I have uh, I have a bunch of apps running in the background so if I go for to click uh, you know blow up the video game yeah it pops right up exactly where I was last meaning it is running you know true multitasking it's not focusing but uh, you get the picture um, the Nexus one has limited amount of space because my phone is hacked but to install apps on a stock Nexus one you don't have unlimited space uh, Google is working on uh, getting um, app space so you can install on your SD card and um, they don't have that yet so unless you hack your Nexus one the one downfall is you only have about 200 megabytes of um, space to install applications which actually isn't too bad but um, with the iPhone you got unlimited space so that's that's one thing the iPhone has until you hack the Nexus One, um, they both have multi-touch. Um, you know, if we go to the gallery on this one, uh, let me see where the gallery is. I'm not sure. Oh, here's photos. There it is. We don't have any photos, so I can't really compare the difference. Uh, but the Nexus One does have a uh, cool 3D effect when you turn the phone. You know, it shifts with it. The iPhone doesn't have that. Um, Let's go ahead and turn it around. The, um, the camera on the uh, Nexus is a uh, th uh, 5 megapixel with a flash. The iPhone right now doesn't have a flash. It has a 3.2 megapixel. So that's one thing the Nexus has on the uh, iPhone. Um, let's see what else we can talk about. The new iPhone, I'm sure, will have all these features, but that's how Apple makes their money. They hold these, you know, they they don't release all their features all at once. They they wait, and then the next phone will come out, and they'll have all those features so that they can make more money. Um, they both have 3G connections. They both do wireless. They both do Bluetooth. You know, all that's the same. Um, the iPhone has a lot more games. If you you know if you only care about games, then uh, the iPhone is the way to go. If you want a higher resolution screen, uh, faster processor, uh, the Nexus One is the way to go. I mean, you are I am on two different carriers. This one is AT&T. This one's T-Mobile. You can get the Nexus One on uh, AT&T now, but it will run you uh, 529 bucks. You know, and then you got to pay for uh, tax too. So. Um, 
other than that if you have any questions let me know I do have both phones so I'm not biased um, you know I like the Nexus one better I mean I, I like the iPhone as well I have the iPhone because it's my work phone and I have the uh, Nexus one because that's my personal phone so if you have any questions let me know